Hello everyone, this is S of North Online Maths and in this lesson we need to solve this problem in order to get the value of x. If you are new here, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video, okay? So we want to solve this uh, particular question. Um, this is already 2 to the power of root x equals 8 can be broken down into 2 power 3 then you have your x because 2 power 3 means 2 times 2 times 2 which will give us 8 so we have 2 root x equal to 2 to the power of 3 times x is 3x right now the basis are the same thing therefore the power should also be the same so you are not wrong if you write that square root of x is equal to what 3x let us square both sides the essence of squaring both sides is to kill the square root. We are squaring both sides. Square, we cancel square root. We have x equals 3 squared is 9, then x squared. This is what we are having. I can still call it 9x squared is equal to x. They are the same thing. Bringing this x to the left, we have 9x squared minus x is equal to 0. Now, x is common. You can factor out x. x into 9x squared divided by x will give us 9x. x divided by x is 1, then equal to 0. When two terms are tensing each other to give you 0, you know that one of them is 0 or both of them are 0. So, either the first x, this x, is equal to 0 or the bracket. Or you say... 9x minus 1 is 0. 9x is 1. Divide both sides by 9. So x is 1 over 9. This can be a value of x. You can test 1 over 9. Of course, it is obvious that 0 is a, is a, is a solution to this. But if you put 1 over 9 here, you have 2 root 1 over 9 is equal to 8 power 1 over 9. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. Now, 8 is the same thing as 2 power 3. Then bracket 1 over 9. 3 here is 3. So we are having 2 power 1 over 3 is 2 power 1 over 3. So since both sides are the same thing, automatically our solution is right. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.